This campaign is about the first stage of Infusionsoft's life cycle marketing, and that stage is attract traffic. So what I will be talking about today is how to take the traffic that has been attracted to your business by Facebook, by your presence in uh, Facebook timeline and your business page, and funnel that traffic into Infusionsoft so that you can market to them. Now you could pay for a Facebook ad <clears throat> if you wanted to, and I, I'm hearing that there's a lot of changes going on with Facebook and how Facebook is going to interact with business owners. So it may become quite expensive to use Facebook in your marketing. So let's try this instead. In your Facebook timeline, you're going to create posts. And you're going to offer the people who read your timeline something of value, something educational, a free drawing for an iPad, some sort of a contest, something to get them to click a link that you've put in that timeline post. And you're going to use bit.ly to shorten it. And when they click that link, they're going to be directed to a web page that is hosting this Infusionsoft web form. And they are going to give you their first name, at, at a minimum, their first name and their email address. I always like to get last name too, but at least first name and email address. Once they submit that form, two things are going to happen. They're going to get two emails within just a few minutes of each other. They're going to get one that is asking them to confirm their email address. And the reason that we do that, it, this is replacing the opt-in, the double opt-in that you probably have heard about. So you are requesting them to click a link that confirms their email. The way this campaign is built, it is only a request. If I were requiring that confirmation to be clicked, I would put all of this here over here on the other side of it because unless this goal is met, they cannot move into anything else. But the way I've set this campaign up, I'm counting on the fact that anyone that has requested this offer wants to hear from me and they're not in danger of reporting me for spam because they've requested this information. So this email is going to go out and then they're going to also receive this sequence. Inside this sequence I'm going to tag them that they've requested this offer and I'm going to send them an email that contains a link to the offer. If you have the time and the inclination, I really recommend that you deliver this offer in several pieces instead of one 35-page ebook. Because not many people are going to stop and read a 35-page ebook. And if you can deliver it to them, if you can chunk that information, number one, they're more likely to read it if it's in small, manageable pieces. And number two, if you chunk it and you space it like every three days or five days or seven days, they get used to hearing from you on a regular basis and they become more engaged with you. So that's just something to think about. If they click that link in your email to read the content, they are then, this, the goal of this email sequence is for them to click a link. So once they click the link, this goal is met. Now should they receive the emails and they never click a link to engage, then they are dropped into this sequence here. And this was going to send them, uh, probably after seven days, we would put a timer in here. And after seven days, if they haven't engaged with anything in this sequence, we would send them another email that said, hey, life gets busy, you requested this information from uh, me and here it is again. If there's anything we can do, we uh, please let us know. So that's the intent of this sequence right here. Okay, now 
back to the people who have clicked the link. They click the link, which means they probably have read what you've sent them or they've engaged with a video or whatever you're sending them. So maybe after seven days you would want to send them an email that said, we hope that what we've delivered to you has provided value and we would like to send other value-based offers to you. May we do that? And have a link <coughs> for them to click that says yes. So once they click yes, then they would be tagged with a tag that says OK to market to or send more offers. That way the next time you have a similar offer, you could search by everyone that has this tag and send them a marketing email. You could also send them surveys either here or here to learn more about them to develop products that target them, to upsell existing products to them. So that is how this campaign is designed to be very simple, very easy to implement. So it, go ahead and, and work with it. Let me know what you think. There's a Facebook group that you can post your questions in and I'll be monitoring that Facebook group and answering questions. And one other little side note here. See how I named this campaign? I named it 01-2013-01- Facebook Attract Traffic. Now there's a reason for this. 01 stands for the first stage in Infusionsoft's lifecycle marketing. So I know that any campaign that's got 01 preceding the name is a campaign that's designed to attract traffic. Then I always put the year and the month because I, six months from now, you're probably not going to remember when you did this. And then I'm going to give it a name that I can recognize. So I hope this has helped. Let me know how you come out.